What is going on YouTube? It is Friday, October 8th, 2010, and this is Fighting Fire with Fire, the AJ Rowe Show. We have an incredibly Excellent. show to get to today, and we're going to start with Tim Lincecum, who, it's really unfair that Roy Halladay had to pitch this no-hitter a couple days ago because it almost completely overshadowed Lincecum's nine-inning shutout performance with 14 strikeouts last night in his postseason debut. That's two of the best postseason debuts ever, first by Holiday, then by Lincecum. Now, despite Lincecum looking exactly like Mitch from Dazed and Confused, he is still an incredible pitcher and gives the Giants a great chance to beat the Braves and then have a chance against the winner of the Phillies Red Series. Meanwhile, in the American League, the Rays and the Twins face 0-2 holes, with the Rays having a slightly better chance to come out of that 0-2 hole than the Twins because the Yankees perennially own the Twins. They are now 7-0 all-time in the playoffs against Minnesota in Minnesota. If you can't win at home against the Yankees, just don't even don't even bother showing up to Yankee Stadium. You're going to get crushed, you're going to get swept, and then the Yankees are going to move on to the ALCS. And I think the Rangers, uh, if it comes down to it, will just throw Cliff Lee again, uh, and then they'll beat the Rays, and the Rays will be cellar dwellers for another decade because that team is going to get gashed and gutted uh, this offseason with Carl Crawford and Carlos Pena and Soriano. All those guys are going to leave. They're going to have smaller payroll. It's going to be a really, really hard thing to swallow for the Rays to get swept in the first round after a season with so much potential. The other story that we're going to talk about is uh, because I'm a Boston guy, we're going to talk a tiny bit about Deion Branch potentially coming back to the Patriots. Um, I have started to cool off a little bit about the Randy Moss trade. I'm still a little bitter about it. However, if Deion Branch comes back and Deion Branch is still an elite possession receiver just like he was when he won the Super Bowl MVP for the Patriots in 2004, um, that offense could actually not take that big a step back from losing Moss. And Deion Branch has never been the head case that Moss was in New England. Um, and incidentally, let's just say theoretically that this upcoming Monday Night Football game between the Vikings and Jets is decided by a Randy Moss touchdown catch. Randy Moss will have helped the Patriots by getting traded and helping them, uh, helping the Jets fall back into second place in the AFC East. That would be the best case scenario for my Patriots. Our final story today is going to have to do with Michael Vick, who is ruled out for the starting job this weekend. Kevin Cobb is going to start because of Vick's rib injury. I think that eventually when Michael Vick gets healthy, um, he's going to get the starting job back. Unless, of course, Kevin Cobb just throws for 350 yards a couple weeks in a row and the Eagles get back-to-back -back wins. But they're not going to do that because they're going to give the San Francisco 49ers their first win this weekend. And as crazy as it sounds, the San Francisco 49ers at 0-4 are still not out of their divisional race because the NFC West is that atrocious. Ugh. God, the NFC West is bad. Anyway, thank you for watching this Friday episode of Fighting Fire with Fire, the AJ Rose Show. Have a great weekend, folks. I'll see you on Monday. I am out.